Hi, and welcome to the CA App Services Orchestrator 1.0 installation video from CA Technologies Customer Support. In this video, we'll walk you through a standard installation of CA ASO. The first step in installation is to download the product by pointing your web browser to support.ca.com, our customer support site. You can log in using the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Next, you'll need to press the Download Center button in the center of the page and then select Download Products from the context menu. Once inside the Download Center, enter the name of the product, CA App Services Orchestrator, into the Select a Product field. Then select CA App Services Orchestrator Multi Platform from the list of products. Select Release 1.0 and the basic GIN level 0000. After you've made these choices, click the blue Go button and the Product Downloads page will open. In the Product Downloads page, select the entry CA App Services Orchestrator R1.0 ESD only and click the blue Download hyperlink to advance to the Download Method page. The simplest download method uses the same internet browser that you're already using so simply select the View File Links hyperlink. The name of the file that you'll download appears below that hyperlink. Now click the ISO file name to download through your internet browser and let the download finish. After the download completes, unzip the executable file within the ISO and double click to execute the installer. At first, you'll see a dialog display a progress bar from the installer program. Just let that run to completion. The CA ASO Installer Introduction opens next, and there's some information there about the product version and the prerequisites needed. You must have Java 1.7.0 underscore 25, 64-bit, or higher installed on the computer. And you also must be using a 64-bit, English-only, supported version of Windows. We support Windows Server 2012 and Windows versions 7, 8, and 8.1. Please note that the CA Windows user account that you're using to install CA ASO must have administrator privileges as well. If you need more detailed information about these prerequisites, follow the hyperlink noted at the bottom of this introduction screen to view the Product Wiki's Prerequisites section. The installer will verify that you've met the prerequisites when you click Next on this page, and a dialog with the progress bar displays for that verification. The next screen shows you the results of the verification. In this case, all of the prerequisites are green, which means we passed the verification stage. If any of the prerequisites had been shown with a red exclamation point, this means we'd have failed that prerequisite. You cannot proceed with the installation until all prerequisites are satisfied. Assuming you're all green, you can click Next and the License Agreement screen displays. After reading through the agreement, you must agree to its terms to proceed with the installation. Clicking Next on this page advances you to the SOAP WS Binaries Dependency screen. CAASO uses third-party binaries to parse the WSDL documents that describe your SOAP services in the XML markup language. Since these binaries use a different license agreement, we do not distribute them with our product. However, you can elect to download the binaries from the Internet automatically, as we've done in this example, by selecting the Top Radio button or you can enter an alternate SOAP binaries URL from which our installer retrieves when you click the Next button. The following screen is for choosing the installation folder for CAASO. The default location is in the backslash program files directory on your default drive, usually C colon, but you can choose a different drive and directory location if needed. Clicking the Choose button opens Windows Explorer to make choosing the installation directory easy. Clicking the Next button advances you to the Create Admin Account screen. This admin account has full control over CAASO and can create other user accounts within the product. You'll need to choose a password that's at least eight characters in length and contains any two of the following character types. Uppercase letters, lowercase letters, digits from zero to nine, or symbols. You'll also need to enter a valid email address for the administrator to whom CAASO can send emails if, for example, you forget your password. When you click Next, you'll advance to the SMTP server configuration that CAASO uses to relay email. Enter a valid SMTP server address, either the numeric IP address or the fully qualified domain name and port number for your company's SMTP server. 
You must also enter a from address that any email sent by CAASO can use as the sender's address. Notice the fields for username and password. These fields are only applicable if your SMTP server requires authentication. In this case, enter the username and password and check the authentication required checkbox below these fields. You may also select TLS connection if your SMTP server supports TLS encryption. Before you leave this screen, click the Test Connection button and CAASO will send a test email message to the address that you defined for the administrator. And this success dialog message will display on your monitor. The next screen is for configuring the Tomcat server that hosts the CAASO server. You can simply choose the default ports for HTTP, HTTPS, and shutdown if there are no other applications listening on those ports. If there is a conflict, CAASO displays a message informing you of the conflict and you can choose an open port. The next screen is for configuring the Postgres SQL database port. The default port is 5432, but if this port has a conflict, the installer displays a notification message and you can define a different port number here. When you click the Next button, the installer displays the pre-installation summary screen with information about the product you're about to install, the installation folder, the shortcut folder, and the JRE that CAASO is now configured to use. You'll also find the host name of the computer on which you're installing CAASO and information about required and available disk space. If everything looks correct on this page, then you can click the Install button to begin the installation. However, if you'd like to make a change to anything you defined on previous screens, click the Previous button to return to those screens and make changes. After you click the Install button, Install Anywhere will install CAASO. You'll see a progress bar at the bottom of the screen and text updates about different components as they're installed. Upon completion of the install, a congratulations message will display and you can simply click Done to exit the installer. The CAASO server web application will then launch in your default browser and you can log in with your admin credentials to start creating RESTful APIs with an outstanding user experience. In case you run into any problems during the installation, refer to the product's DocOps page at https colon slash slash wiki.ca.com slash ASO and review the troubleshooting page. You can learn more about the product from CAASO DocOps site too. If you cannot find an issue in product documentation that matches the description of the problem you're having with your install, open a support case by calling 1-800-225-5224 or logging into the Customer Support Online site at support.ca.com and choosing Case Management. Thanks for watching!